Hey guys, I just watched Shay's video for day number 18 and uh, I am having one of those days. I'm having one of those days you just talked about and like, I didn't think I was even going to make a video today. I was to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not having an inspiring, inspiring day. I haven't done anything healthy. Today is the first day, the first day out of the entire month that I ate like crap. I did, I did. It was my dad's 50th birthday and that's no excuse because you can make healthy choices and I did make some healthy choices. I had like broccoli with my steak. But, um, oh, I'm not inspired. And you know what? Um, I finally, I just worked, I worked the whole weekend and I worked part of the Monday shift that I said I wasn't going to do, but I did part of it. And, um, I haven't ran in two days now and I need to get out there and run. So I am literally laying on my cozy couch <laughs> in my running clothes. And I just watched the video and Shay's right. I made the decision and I am going out running. I'm going to do it. And you know what? I want to run three miles tonight. I do. I'm full. I came home and I freaking ate some more. And I need to make up for it now because that's my big thing is if I do mess up and I do eat bad, I want to make it up. So I have made the decision. I am going for my oh, run. Fuck yeah. <sighs> I just ran four miles. And it is September 18th and my September goal was two. And I am sweaty and I wanted to cry. I'm, and I'm bloody, I'm bloody, and this was the most amazing moment of my run, was this right here. Oh yeah, look at that. All the way down into my ankles. Got both knees, got my palms, and I feel great. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what just happened, but... I was feeling lousy. I mean, definitely posting the earlier part of which I taped because it's how you have a lot of days and you can turn the worst days into the best days. And I started running and I took a whole new route and I just kept going and I didn't stop and I kept running and running and running. And it was uh, amazing because once I got to three miles, which I've been telling you I want to run a 5K, and when I got to three miles, which a 3K is, or 5K is about that, um, I, my music dimmed because I use Met My Fitness and um, it was like, you know, run three miles time and whatever my time was. And right as I was paying attention to that, I must have had like jelly legs. My toe caught these damn buffalo sidewalks that are terrible. And I went down so hard. I was running full force and I went down with all of my body weight. And I scuffed my hands and my knees. And I don't know what it was in me at that exact moment. But I, it was like stealth action. I went down and I was mad. I was so mad. I wanted to run the 3.1 miles to get my time for that 5K. I rolled right into the grass onto my back and I sprung up and kept running. And the worst couple minutes after a fall... The, the worst the worst time after a fall is the first couple minutes when you try to stop going. I felt like I wanted to cry. My hands were burning so hard. My knee was burning. I could feel the blood trickling down. And I was mad. And then at that exact moment when I wanted to quit, I got determined. And I freaking leapt up and I kept going. I just, I kept going. And... It was at that moment that I was so proud that I'd run that 5K. I had I had even leapt up from the fall, and I said, screw the fall, like, nothing's going to bring me down, and I kept going. And it got to the point where I could have made a left and headed back home. Um, and I was like, no, you know what, that was amazing. That was an amazing moment. I'm not a runner. My goal was two miles. I'm already up to three. I sprung up after a hard fall, and I kept going. So you know what, I ran right past that turn, and I kept going. I kept going farther down. I run right next to um, a little river that we have near the house, and I kept going, and I ran the long way home and added an entire extra mile onto my run, and once I hit four miles, I hit the pause button so I could get my time for my hourly even, and I think I averaged about 11 minutes a mile, 11 or 11 and a half minutes a mile, which is huge for me, and I feel freaking fantastic. I feel awesome. I was so discouraged. I ate crap. I was feeling like, you know, how I usually do. Today is a moment in my diet that I normally would have quit. I, nor I absolutely normally would have quit. And I got this 
inspiring feeling in me and I leapt up and I kept going and I'm bleeding all over the place and I feel I feel like better than I have felt in I, I can't imagine like I can't remember the last time I felt this accomplished and my god did I mean can you earn it you push yourself past that comfort and you know what this is the first time that I've experienced like runner's high so uh one of my neighbors is home and even though I'm proud as hell, I don't really want to talk to my camera in front of anyone at this moment. But you know what? Ugh, fuck it. Do what you gotta do. Do it. Get out there. Make yourself proud. There's nothing better than feeling so proud. I think the last time I felt like this was when I won a huge sectional meet in a big race and qualified for a time that I never thought I was going to qualify for. Well, that just happened. I can't believe I ran four miles. And especially, like, the way it happened and the way I kept going. So... <sighs> feels great. Just get, you know, when you're feeling discouraged, the best thing you can do is something new. Get out there and do something you haven't done. And, um, he has, he has fast food. <laughs> that just makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> Somebody just got in their truck and went out for a late night fast food run. I'm out fucking running. I'm running. God, I feel great. This is like... It was that exact moment that I fell down and leapt up that I think I became a runner. I did. I became a runner. Hey guys, so I just came in and uh, my knees hurt a lot worse than I thought they did. And I got them all cleaned up and all, all bandaged, courtesy of my fiancé. And um, I'm actually, I wasn't crying because it hurt. I was actually like... I don't know what got into me, but, like, when I was sitting there and, um, getting my knees nursed back to health, um, I just, like, I don't know, I had, like, this moment and, um, where, like, I felt like I just got my life back and, uh, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it, I just, like, I just, like, that was, the whole thing that just happened was just so inspiring, like, between, like, having a, a best run for me and um, being able to get back up after a hard fall. And it's just like, it feels like it like symbolizes so much more. And I feel like I can do this and I feel like I'm getting rid of the person that I used to be and that she's gone and that I, like, I have full control over this now. And nothing's going to change my mind this time and there's no more going back. I, um, I'm completely done with, uh, living the way I used to live and being the person I used to be, and I want to be that active, fit, inspired person, and, um, I just decided that now I am going to be, so, you guys can all do it too, and this, like, not only gives me faith in myself, but it gives me faith in every single one of you that is trying to accomplish something. The second you overcome something that's hard and that, that was a golden moment of growth. I don't even think I knew what one was until that just happened. But the second you push beyond your comfort limit and something brings you down and you fight so hard to overcome it, that's, that is when you get it. That's when you grow and that's when you realize that you can do anything that you want to do. So, um, thank you guys so much. Um, subscribe, comment below. I want to see who you are. I want to talk to you guys. I want to see what you're doing. So I love you and um, good night for real now.